My father would tell me stories. In the heart of the mountains lived a mystical race who desired only peace. <laughs> I can hear him now. Uh, these mystics, he said, they valued life and used gold only for their mausoleums. All creatures were accepted among them, except the men who were warned to stay away because they were bellicose and greedy. Let me guess, they went anyway. Aye, uh, in bellicose they did. And being greedy, they went after the gold. Their mausoleums desecrated, the mystics cursed the humans and hid themselves away. They remind me of Ceridian. Good rest, though. We need to look for somewhere to cross. Can't use this one. Sound of a corpse talking to us. Look to me. The mountains must be rich in ore. It looks a bit rickety. It's built for a team. One man alone should be fine. Should be. I know. Not a pleasant way to die. Not a pleasant way to die, is it?
almost there. The lift should be freed now. look fragile. Well, they hold. Would you rather climb? If it were up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. Climbed higher, or has the weather gotten colder? The nightmare is at work. She's likely using the weather in New Eden to further isolate its people. Then once the curse is lifted, the snow will disappear. I think so. Follow my voice.
hear that? Yes. Nearby. This place looks like the drawings on the map. Never mind. I'll do this myself. There's a tough one. things. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. And these remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. Spirit and flesh, I summon you! <laughs> That corpse is taken in. Yes, something's here.
You've excelled of late, and you haven't crowed about it once. And you're those, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? Truly bloody angry. <laughs> but that's true of most spectres. A scourge will always seek a new physical body, often made of different materials. Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts of unfinished business. And apparently that includes asking questions. You may not know much, but you have the cheek. I'll give you that. I hope it's enough. Do you hear that? Over here. Oh, Fardy! Did you see that? Let's follow it. Watch out! Spectre position! A peaceful place, in different times. Before the nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort, and a fire, and warm you up. Did you feel that? It's close. Trouble ahead. Spectres are attacking the fort. Seek no ground! Hold fire! That fellow's not dead! Who is that? You can't burn, I said, hold your fire! This isn't working. None out. Not living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. 
of Business Within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? Name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate, folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either priests or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Who is this priest? May I speak with him? Him is a her. Helen Priest ain't here. She's on an excursion to the outpost, searching for supplies. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. Right. Find our friends, Banisher. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the... Death knocks... ...at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. More coming. Come and get your breath. Afraid to take a wee punch or... Why do I get the feeling that we're so Away with you. Expectors. The fort will run out of powder. These pests don't spring from nowhere. There's more of them. Your funeral! Eyes peeled.
I have another in sight. That's it. That's the place. Fill in the hole. Bury them all. I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. Stuck. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. If you were by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Visible. This one's not been dead long. Mm, let's hope he stays that way. Think you could take on a ghost? Reinforcements! Go back to the hall. 
boat is shot! Behind you! A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly, I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly, you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you, we'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Wasn't I always? Lock looks broken. I doubt that gate will ever open again. Impressive. You banishers are quite something. 
That's all, huh? I'm just... A vanishing march with my father's infantry. Good for morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. Why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. Well, that's a relief. Waiting for open the gates. Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. I'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap. God have mercy on their souls. Captain Pennington. No time, no way out. No hope, no way in. No time, no time at all. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McRaith, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work, a mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more open, little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. 
welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like priests. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. Fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. No Smith gathered the board and the governor let the affair flock to him. We never agreed on anything in the first place. The governor is no more. His son takes charge. They rebuild as best they can. <laughs> Little Lammy Haskell. Truly. Well, better him than his father. May the vacuous peacock rest in peace. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope. And you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you, and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Permission to take my leap? And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here. On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Helen worries me. Sebastian's return has lit a fuse.
banishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps, by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft, empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it, useless really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived, and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love or no, as long as Sebastian haunts you, you will never be safe. You must accept this. Sebastian haunts me. You aren't red. What's of safety when we can love a little longer? Perhaps the meaning of our meeting is ours to define. Then time moves on. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. An innocent woman, jailed. I mean, as wolf pelts go, it's pretty. But have more than enough of them. Fucking Strange. The captain doesn't strike me as a petty tyrant. Helen is right. The truth lies down there, somewhere. I suspect Deborah is at it again. Ready for another ride? Circumstances aside, this is quite romantic. Swarming hordes of spectres aren't to your liking. They are if I'm with you. Not a 
fan of this breeze, mind. Not as romantic as you'd thought, eh? Maybe now's the time to ask you to marry me. Try it, and I'll cut the rope. Beautiful view. Every morning I wake to a better one. You try to join me, lady. I'll warn you. She'll definitely work. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure. Present yourself! Fucking old cunt. nearby blocked I hope there's another way in
Can I join in too? This one is incomplete. I feel something close. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. More corrupted ivy waiting to be plucked out. Wait a minute, I'm enjoying the target practice. Like you need it. Banishers. So you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. Thank you. When you're searching for the source of the wrath of the hordes of the dead, it's nice to bring a friend. I fear their anger justified. This place knows much tragedy. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. 
We must press on. Stay close. Whenever you're ready. I was enjoying this sweet promenade. Everything all right? Let's just get this over with. Pennington ordered the barricades fast. I barely had time to bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. Ready and waiting. Sickness or thirst died of despair. Which one took you? Despair. Most definitely. These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. You see this lift? It goes all the way down. rose to the surface, piled high with ore. Since the ripple of a past conversation. I told Grey the tunnels were hellish hot. But Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. That sounds nasty. You all right? Wouldn't fancy working here with the furnaces running. The work men did here was meant to make New Eden rich. spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. What the hell was that? Uh-oh.
Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? I... I can't. What now? Okay. Follow me, please. They're expecting to face a regiment. In a way. We knew the dying were trying to fight. We had to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. Can't blame a man for wanting to make it home alive. We need to stop at some point. It would be all right. Ride it out. This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? My heart felt apologies. I suppose the memory was just too painful. What is that? This is no ordinary spectre, that's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we may change. More importantly, how do we break them? I see a weak link. Whatever's down here, they're not like that. Think you could take on a ghost? What's that mark mean? I've seen it in books. Necromancy. Corpse raising, spirit control, that kind of thing. Have you heard of a ghost able to raise the dead and control them? I thought they were myths. Perhaps I was wrong. But we do our work. Come on, let's break these chains.
Is it just me or...? I felt it too. Don't fret, we're coming for you. This creature, I don't want to to face me. Turn back. Why? I, I, I don't know. I thought, maybe you should be. See you, whatever it is.
sense the ripple of a past conversation. Lay down your weapon, Prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me! I'm not your fool! Obey the order! Put the pickaxe down! Your uniform won't protect your son! Your officer will bury us all! He'll bury us all! He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington, right? Who else? For help if you need it. Sebastian, what is this place? It's not. It's. It's only. The people were angry. And for good reason. Rebel camp.
All right, Sebastian, fess up. What's going on? What matters is that Pennington must pay. There is nothing else. Weapons, sabotage plans? Just how bad was the revolt? Not as bad as Pennington burying us all alive. That's no answer. Sebastian Priest, in the mind you were to tend to the sick. Instead, you afflicted them. What? No. This is a, a heinous lie. I gave my life for it. You turned into a tyrant until revolt emerged among the exhausted survivors. They, they, they must have gone mad down in the dark. Their, their rage found a target in me, the, the captain's man. I died innocent. I, I died a hero. You're a murdering coward. Blame Pennington all you want. We know it is a lie. I didn't. I, I never did that. It's not me. It's all a lie. I love Helen with all my heart. Pennington must be. You must make Pennington pay for his crimes. You'll not get away with this, Sebastian. Come back here, you coward. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs>